What's up, everyone? Welcome to another new album review. Today, it's an exciting day because I'm going to be reviewing the album that I was looking forward to this year more than any other album. We're going to talk about the new album from Sacred Reich called Awakening. Sacred Reich were formed in Phoenix, Arizona in the mid-80s, and Awakening is actually their first new album in 23 years. And Sacred Reich have always been a very politically and socially conscious thrash metal band, and they've still got that going for them today. But their sound from each album always progressed a little bit. They started off being very straightforward thrashy, and then each album added sort of different elements, and every album was fucking killer. And guess what, people? This one is no exception. Now, their last album, 1996's Heal, had kind of more of a groovy kind of element to it. And um, this album actually incorporates a little bit of that too, but also has a lot of thrash on it. And the overall sound is very classic. It's like they sort of just took elements of their stuff and kind of just put it all together in this perfect package. If you're a fan of Sacred Reich, you're going to like this fucking album. And on top of the sound of the album being so great, the performances are fucking great. Uh, uh, Phil Rind, as a vocalist, he's one of my favorite metal vocalists, and he fucking still sounds amazing today. And uh, Wiley Arnett, the uh, uh, lead guitar player, same thing for him. His fucking leads, it sounds like, you know, he never missed a day. You could have told me that these motherfuckers were frozen in 1996 and then thawed out just in time to record this fucking record. It, it, it sounds that fucking good. Um, and I think a lot of the good sound of the album has to do with uh, producer Arthur Risk, who uh, is quickly becoming, or already has become, the go-to guy for a lot of metal bands. He did uh, Power Trips albums, he did The Last Calavera Conspiracy. Um, his shit just sounds classic. He, he just knows how to fucking do albums, so uh, you're going to hear that guy's name a lot. Um, I'm going to put this down. So, um, yeah, the album is uh, uh, such a fucking great album. It, it's almost like if I basically sent them a list of all the things I would like their album to be, they just came right back and said, Steven, we're going to do everything you wanted. Here's your album specifically for you because it's got everything I want. It's got a variety of songs. It's still got some thrashiness. It's got some really great politically and socially conscious lyrics, which I totally love from them. And not only that, the album does not overstay its welcome. It is eight tracks, four per side, and the album isn't like too short, but it's just enough to where the album finishes. And guess what I did? I started the motherfucker right over again and enjoyed it just as much. Um, it's got a lot of parts where right away you're kind of hooked with things and then other things that i noticed on the second and third listen i was like oh that's fucking cool so what more can you ask for from a metal album these days and um excuse me the thing that um i really like also about this is they didn't try to go all fucking modern and try to compete with your sort of modern metal bands that's a gripe that i have with a lot of older bands coming back now is it seems like they feel like they need to have these you know crazy uh double kick things going on and i, I don't know it, it, you know to each their own because some of that shit is really good but with a band like sacred reich it it feels really good that they uh kind of retained the feel of their older music it's like they're not overthinking these things it's uh yeah i could go on and on so uh uh, how about let's take a look at the fucking vinyl that I got of this one. All right. So, how about that shit? That's fucking great. Um, there were some other cool uh, uh, vinyl colors to choose from also, but this was the one that was my favorite. Um, the only gripe I have about this has nothing to do with the album. It has to do with the vinyl. The fucking hole is drilled off center, so of course the sound is all... But you know what? That's modern vinyl, and it fucking sucks. But at least this one looks really fucking cool. And uh, yeah, it fits the album. Fucking rad album, fucking rad vinyl. What else can I say? So now I know what some of you might be asking. Steven, album of the year? I don't fucking know. We'll have to find out. We're still only about 
a little more than halfway through this year. Who knows what's going to come out between now and then. But so far, this is the most excited I've been about an album so far this year. And clearly, it's probably going to be my favorite cover art of the year. That's, that's just a fucking badass cover. Um, anyway, clearly, I love this album. I suggest everyone go out and listen to it. Uh, go buy physical copies if you can. Support Sacred Reich. Go back and listen to all of their old shit because every album is fucking killer. And uh, that's all I got to say about this. Great fucking album. Go listen to it. See you guys later.